Hello, um, my name's Stacey. I'm uh, here to uh, interview you today. Could you introduce yourself and provide us with an overview of your background here and your role at LabMed Expert? Great, thank you, Stacey. My name is Conley Akombi. I'm the laboratory director at LabMed Expert. I oversee the training side of um, our services and at the same time, I'm the histopathology laboratory manager. Uh, here at LabMed Experts. So, thank you for that. And what goals do you currently have for LabMed Expert? Um, the management of LabMed Experts is uh, always busy with innovations. And uh, I can already tell you that we already have the plans for the next 10, 20, 30 years for the organization. But I'm going to um, talk about the short-term goal that we currently have, you know, uh, for 2024 for LabMed Experts is to provide solution to the current shortage of biomedical scientists in the country. You know, there are needs for laboratory scientists um, and um, there are lots of graduates at the same time. Uh, but there is one thing missing and what is missing is the experience. The experience is a big factor. We've trained hundreds of people in the past who are now working in over 150 NHS labs across the UK. There are some laboratories that when you get there you will come across 5 to 10 lab med expert trainees. These are candidates that doesn't require further trainings because we have trained them um, and prepared them for the job market, basically. What are your thoughts on the impact that LabMed Expert has had on the health sector? Uh, the impact that LabMed Expert has had on the health sector is uh, the training and the diagnostic side. Now, I will start with the training. We have trained, like I said earlier, we have trained hundreds of candidates and we have tracked their progress. These candidates are working in various NHS laboratories and private laboratories across the UK. Thank you for that. You're welcome, Stacey. Uh, could you talk about some of the challenges that you face and how you've resolved them? Um, I would say some of the challenges we're facing is the uh, awareness, you know, for trainees, or let me just, let me use the word candidates, you know, to to find us. That's one of the major challenge, you know, and uh, how we have been resolving that is uh, publicity, marketing. Uh, um, workshops that we're currently uh, organizing uh, almost every month now we have workshops um, that's the that's the major challenge I would say because we have excellent success rate you know we've trained lots of people in the past who have brought them from zero experience to a level where they've gained confidence in themselves and they're fully competent to do the job um, and they've got jobs and we have over 98 percent employability rate uh, that's what we've recorded so far which is good so lab med expert now have a trade specifically for university students that even from year one they can enroll on our training once in a month they come to the lab we train them they go back to their uni and you know within five months they would have gained basic competencies within their area of specialization by the time they complete their university studies they are ready to go. They are ready for the job market. In this way, we will be able to provide 
full solution. We hope. <laughs> We're working on this. We'll be able to provide solutions to unemployment in the country. So they're ready for the job. They have the skill sets. They understand the way the laboratory works. And they get on with the job from day one with little to training. Uh, what upcoming goals and initiatives that can we expect to see from LabMed Expert? Uh, the goals that we have is to, you know, start um, helping candidates with their IBMS portfolio. That's one of our goals now. At the moment, we train them and we help them in finding jobs within the NHS and private laboratories. Uh, we want to take that further to a level where we will start helping them uh, with their portfolio, with their portfolios, so that they can also become HCPC registered biomedical scientists. Um, and another another goal is for us to um, start helping the NHS. We've already started helping the NHS with backlog of work and also the corporate training, but. We want to um, we want to be in that position where we will be able to take as many work as possible without you know uh, uh, without it affecting our turnaround time because our turnaround time for now uh, at the moment for our histology is seven days um, you know we started from wet tissue. To reporting and for histology, uh, histology blocks, uh, backlogs is within two to three days. Like I said earlier, you know, we've been visiting various uh, NHS labs to help them with their backlogs in house, and um, we could do as many as 5,000 blocks within four to five days. Uh, we have excellent um, biomedical scientists who always you know want to get the job done even uh, above expectation so yes we will, we want to expand that portfolio uh, to ensure that you know we are able to cover as many uh, um, NHS labs as possible um, without it affecting the, the turnaround time that we are currently giving to our clients. Thank you.